Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your home on the internet for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. As well, you can become a member on this channel. Join and unlock cool icons and emojis you can use when interacting with our channel. I'm your host Tall and today we're going to be talking about the Gengosaurus. Also thought to be pronounced as Kangosaurus or Kianzosaurus or Kianjusaurus. No, it's Gengosaurus. I know it's confusing. It's a Chinese name. We'll get into it. But before we do, I want to remind you guys to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single dinosaur quick dive that we do in the future because we're covering every single dinosaur and prehistoric creature in the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park franchise. You're not going to want to miss a single one. Leave us a dinosaur sized thumbs up. Comment down below a dinosaur prehistoric creature you would like to see us cover in the future. And with that being said, let's jump into our episode on the Gengosaurus. All right, Gengosaurus means Genju lizard. The name refers to Genju, the ancient name for Guangzhou, a city in southern China, where a near complete fossil of this creature was discovered. This dinosaur is also the nickname for Pinocchio Rex because of its long snout. Okay, so where and when did the Gengosaurus actually live? This creature lived in what is now China during the late Cretaceous period, about 72 to 66 million years ago. So right there at the end. So the Gengosaurus was a fairly recent discovery. It's beautifully preserved fossil remains were unearthed in 2010 by worksmen at a construction site of an industrial park in southern China. This dinosaur was first described in scientific literature in 2014 by paleontologist Stefan Broussat and his colleagues in the Nature Communications Journal. And the discovery at Gengosaurus confirmed that not only did Tyrannosaurus with elongated snouts exist, but they make up an entirely new class of dinosaurs, now known as Alluramini. So what did this creature look like? Okay, so the the Gengosaurus was a medium-sized Tyrannosaurus. It belonged to the Tyrannosaurus family. Think of it as T-Rex's weird, long-snouted cousin that lived in China. More on that later. The Gengosaurus was estimated to have grown up to 29 feet or 9 meters from snout to tail and weighed about 1,800 pounds or 800 kilograms. It's smaller than the Tyrannosaurus Rex, which grew up to 42 feet or 13 meters, but still scary nonetheless. This creature held an elongated skull, long narrow teeth, and a deep-set jaw. The Jonjosaurus had a long pointed snout with a row of tiny horns on its nose. Its snout makes up about 70% of the length of its skull, hence the nickname Pinocchio Rex. It kind of makes sense. Also, the Jonjosaurus had a slender physique and a long set of legs. Its femur or thigh bone was 27.6 inches or 70 centimeters long, and its tibia, the lower leg, was 29 inches or 76 centimeters long. Great for running after prey, perhaps. So imagine a T Rex with a crocodile like snout that can move at speeds of 27 miles per hour or 43.4 kilometers per hour. Now, did the Gengosaurus ever get famous? There's not much mention of this creature in popular culture. It appeared in the preschool's TV series Dinosaur Train. The Gengosaurus was also featured in the DVD James Gurney's Tyrannosaurus. Behind the art, the video tutorial shows the process of the artist's reconstruction of the Gengosaurus for Scientific American Magazine. And this dinosaur is new to the Jurassic franchise. You can see the Gengosaurus in the video game Jurassic World Evolution 2. This creature is one of the few species in Jurassic World Evolution 2 with no prior appearance in the franchise. Okay, now let's move on to this creature's diet and behavior, shall we? The Gengosaurus was a carnivore. It would have been very, very aggressive towards its prey and possibly one another for mating and territorial rights. While it was not as strong as its larger relatives, the Gengosaurus was faster and more agile than them. This meant that this creature would more easily track down and hunt the faster prey, such as a small ornithopod or ornithomimids and oviraptorsaurs, which most of which would have been too fast for a large tyrannosaur to bother. Also, the Gengosaurus may not have particularly have been an ambush predator. With its long snout, this dinosaur would have only had to reach close enough so that its snout and jaw could reach its prey. Kind of like a deadly game of tag. Imagine that, that sounds so much fun, playing tag with the Gengosaurus. You just run around like this and he chases you and you say, hey, please don't kill me. Hey, please, if you mind not killing me. Hey, hey, can you not kill me, please? Thank you. You can say in Chinese, shi shi, don't kill me, shi shi. I think that's how you say it, right? Shi shi is thanks. That's not a weird thing that I'm doing right now, right? I'm allowed to speak Chinese, shi shi. And because of its long snout, Gengosaurus probably could not come up with the same extreme bite force that the T-Rex used to puncture bones. Instead, the Gengosaurus probably cut up their prey with their blade-like teeth with scissors snipping away their flesh. And that's the quirky Gengosaurus. 
If you love this awesome prehistoric dinosaur, we want to know from you what prehistoric creature or dinosaur you would like to see us cover in the future. So leave that down below in the comments below and leave us a dinosaur size thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications because we are covering every single dinosaur and prehistoric creature in the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park franchise. Obviously, and also you can become a member on this channel, join and unlock cool icons and emojis you can use when interacting with our channel. If you like to support this channel, you can by sending us some money on our PayPal link down below in the description. But obviously, all we want you to do really is subscribe and give us some love. So we'll see you guys in the next dinosaur quick dive that we do, and I'll see you then. How good? Bye bye.